Let me just tell you right now, I despise soccer. I hate soccer. I don't care what anyone says. It's the, it's the most famous sport in the world. I don't care. I hate soccer. However, doesn't mean I hate this anime. Let's find out. Chase Lock here with Blue Futon reviewing Blue Lock episode Nagi. What's this about? I want to say it's a pretty simple premise. It pretty is. Basically, we are now in episode, or sorry, 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 season two of Blue Lock. Season one has already occurred, and this is, I'm going to call it 1.5, because Nagi is a new character, if I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, in the Blue Lock universe, and now it's going to be a new character that intertwines into season two. But this is about two characters, Nagi, he is basically a bum. He just wants to play video games, not try in life. But however, there's a very rich kid that wants to take him under his wings to, for him, you know, for them to be a duo in the soccer world. Because even though Rio, I think that's his name, his dad doesn't want him to be a soccer player. He wants him to be in charge of the corporation. But slowly throughout, Nagi's realizing, why do people care so much about some things? Why are people so motivated? Why do people have emotion? And he's starting to unlock why he might like soccer and why he loves this competitive nature. But will he leave his friend Rio in the dust? So, do you like this film? I really did. I was intrigued by what was occurring on this screen. All right, like I said, I hate soccer. I think it's boring. It's stupid. I don't want to watch people just run back and forth for 90 minutes. I would rather sleep, okay? Through and in, through out. Fine, you like it in Europe? Congratulations. There's a reason why we succeeded in 1776. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, got our independence. My bad. Emotions are high. So, but the animation is fantastic in this movie. The voice acting is funny. It's good. The overall aspect of this movie is top notch. I really enjoyed what I was watching on screen. It was a quick hour and a half. It was going by a million miles a minute. Good characters and overall just a well-crafted story about egotistic members. Because that's the whole point of this blue lock is get your ego to number one because you're going to be the best striker and fuck the team. And I think that's very weird for this anime because soccer is a team sport. And there are team elements in this anime, but it is really a singular egotistical narcissistic story, which is fascinating with this what the anime is trying to do because it, i feel like it's gonna go that route where it's like this guy wants people to be egotistical however you're gonna have to do this as a team sport and there are elements when you do the three on three the five on five the two on two the four on four which is making the the teams and i think that is where the movie falters because the first hour ish of this movie is this relationship of this five on five of them being team Y, if I'm not mistaken, or team X, if I'm not mistaken, but them trying to beat these other teams to get in the rankings. However, when they when they lose, that's all I'm going to say because there's going to be that dynamic of a loss that's going to occur. I think the movie kind of takes a sharp left turn and it rushes way too quick in the third act. I mean, the rushing is so bad, in my opinion, which it took me out of the film because I enjoyed uh Naji realizing his potential realizing why people are so motivated in life and it was really really freaking cool and it had this weird psyche of the, the like I wouldn't say getting superpowers but one is super fast one could do these crazy ass like foot tricks etc I don't know I guess I don't know anything about soccer I'm sorry but I like that and it's like this whole psyche of like getting this purple stuff in his brain matter and understanding where things is and I really dug it it was so freaking awesome but like I said the third act really rushed with these three-on-three -three teams, these four-on-four -four teams, these five-on-five -five teams, and this Nagi Rio relationship kind of went just, it kind of went on the wayside, which they really need to expand on that because how this ended, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to just run right into season two, right? That's cool and all, but it left so much to be, it needed 30 more minutes. That's all I'm going to say. This anime needed 30 more minutes. For me to understand this relationship and where it's going to go. Yes, there's a, probably a reason why they didn't. Because they, they're going to talk about it in season 2. Or that's just my 
my guess. But as a person who hasn't seen season one, and probably won't watch season two, it's a really freaking bummer for this guy. So overall, Blue Lock episode Naji, it's really fun, really awesomely animated, well crafted, good voice acting, but the third act really took a nosedive, in my opinion. So Blue Lock episode Naji will receive a four out of five with food times. It goes at 80%. Let's see what the correction news course gave this one. So audience at 88%. There's four critics. And let's look at them together. Positive, 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 positive. So we're at a 180, 88, 80. Chase Scott here at the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One more thing, Blue Futon Topia. You Blue Tony, thank you for watching. Have a great day. I don't care if I just stay tomorrow, week from month, or a year from. I love every single freaking one of you. And the one I really missed was the volleyball one because I love playing volleyball.